Hey guys, just hanging out here with uh, my buddy Bob, uh, who happens to, to be a dummy, which every member of the gym army is not, Bob. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is to cover a question that I get a lot when it comes to pre and post gym. And the question is that people have is, if I'm taking pre-gym and I'm taking post-gym, do I need to take it with anything else? Do I need extra creatine, pre and or post? Do I need extra beta alanine? Should I be taking some branched chain amino acids intra-workout while I'm training? The answer is absolutely no. You're completely covered with pre and post-gym, aside from a protein, obviously. That's exactly what I designed pre and post gym to do, was literally provide you everything you need before workout. Not, it's, remember, pre gym is not a pre stim. It's literally all the nutrients that you need to take your workout to a whole new level. And then post gym are all the ingredients, except for the protein, like I said, that you need to maximize your recovery, muscle growth, and get those strength gains after the workout's over. Now there's some confusion maybe with the creatine hydrochloride because I have two grams pre-workout, two grams post-workout, and you'll hear other experts say, well, you need a minimum of three grams of creatine. Yeah, you do need a minimum of three grams of creatine. Creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate is not absorbed as readily as creatine hydrochloride. Research shows that creatine hydrochloride is absorbed far better than creatine monohydrate, which means you need significantly less to get the same results. And in the gym, what I have found is that two gram dose of creatine hydrochloride before workouts, two grams of creatine hydrochloride post-workout, absolutely perfect amount for everyone. You are well, well covered with that much creatine hydrochloride. It would be different if it was monohydrate, but that's, I didn't use monohydrate. Monohydrate gives a lot of people, including myself, stomach, severe, severe stomach issues. Creatine hydrochloride, you don't get those stomach issues and you need significantly less. So two grams is actually more than enough for most people. Beta alanine, the same thing. You'll see a lot of debates over the dosing of beta alanine. Look, what I have found over many years of working with beta alanine with thousands, with thousands of people, thousands of athletes, is that two gram dose pre and post workout is absolutely the perfect dose. It doesn't, you know, you go any higher and you don't get better results you just get more of the tingling and the itchiness. That two gram is perfect. You get just enough of the tingling so you know you've got a good dose, but it's not overwhelming. And when you do two pre and two post, the results are absolutely phenomenal. That's what I've seen. And remember, I formulated this product for myself. These are, the, I, I would not underdose myself. I made these products so that I can have precisely what I need before and after every workout. You're covered on the creatine. You're covered in branch, you know, six grams, there's six grams of branch chain amino acids at a two to one to one ratio. If you're confused on the ratio and branch chains, watch my video on branch chain amino acids. Six grams in the pre, six grams in the post. That's more than enough along with your protein shake. Now people will say, well, what about intra-workout? Should I take a branched chain amino acid? Look, if you want to take a branched chain amino acid during your workout, go right ahead. It's certainly not going to hurt you. Do you need to if you're taking pre-gym and then following? No, no, you have more. You have absolutely more than enough. You're completely covered with the branched chain amino acids. Now, the other thing that people have watched my video on how I take pre and post-gym along with uh, a whey and casein blend protein shake because I actually drink the protein shake during the workout. That's not because I really need to have those amino acids during the workout. It's just kind of the way I like doing it. It's just as effective to break up that big protein shake that I'm drinking right before 
during and then after the workout to just take a separate one before and a separate one after. I just like drinking the I, I just like drinking the, the flavored protein. It's just easy for me to make one big one. Like I said, I start it a little bit before my workout as my pre-workout protein shake, and then I just sip on it mainly for fluid. It just happens that it's protein to have during my workout, and then I finish it right at the end. Then I go on and have my post-workout. That doesn't mean that you need to do that. You need to have branched amino acids or you need to have protein for the other amino acids. It doesn't mean you need that. That's just the way it's convenient for me to do that. If you want to do just a pre and a post, sip water through your workouts, you're perfectly covered. Pre and post gym, everything you need for your pre and your post workout. All you need is a protein.